Hi peeps and welcome back to CrackTube. Today we Today are going to look at three of my top favorite commander decks that I'm playing. So I'd say let's do that. So first we're going to look at my commander sick river cut road. So no he's not sick the blue and white commander but this one is actually black and blue and I gotta say I love this color combination it's a lot of control but we are actually going to play this deck with quite a lot of creatures because what does sick actually say so he is actually two mana so that's already really cool so you can decide if you pay blue or black for 3-1 that says at the end of turn, if an opponent loses 3 or more life this turn, you may draw a card. So this is actually quite cool, because it isn't even only in your turn, it's also in the turn of your opponent. So whenever an opponent is losing more than 3 life, you may draw a card. So that's quite cool. So of course we need to find a way to do 3 damage each turn ourselves. And how are we going to do that? Together with really hard to block creatures like True Name Nemesis is a really great example because he is actually for 3 mana a 3-1 that says that he got protection from a player. So he's gonna be able to fight and do 3 damage without a doubt each time he attacks so that's really cool so that way we are able to draw a lot of cards but of course we are going to play together with almost every good ninja in the game so in our deck we are going to play a lot with ninjutsu what does ninjutsu actually mean return an unblocked attacker you control to hand put this card into play from your hand tapped and attacking so whenever you got for example true name nemesis who is attacking you can pay instead of normal mana cost you can pay five mana return true name nemesis to your hand and put ink eye attacking so and actually with ninjitsu they're not gonna be able to block ink eye because they are they already declared which creatures are gonna be blocked and which aren't gonna be blocked so really strong combination so yeah this is actually one of my favorite cards ink eye servant of uni is really the best ninja if you ask me because whenever ink eye servant of uni deals combat damage to a player you may put target creature card from that player's graveyard into play under your control and for two mana regenerate ink eye for six mana a five four but trust me, you're never gonna pay the 6 mana, you're always going to pay 5 mana with Ninjitsu. Quite awesome! But there is even more. Because we are going to play with a lot of ninjas, you're gonna be able to return a lot of cards from the battlefield back to your hand. So I wanna play with a lot of creatures who got trigger abilities when they enter the battlefield like this one wound scared demon when wound scared demon enters the battlefield search your library for a card put it in your hand then shuffle your library so yes a tutor on a stick and it's also a six six flying demon what more do you want so each time when he's going to attack because he's like a six six flying it's gonna be hard to block this guy and each time you're gonna be able to return him to your hand, ninja attacking, and you can play him again to tutor even more crazy cards. This is actually the way how I play this deck. It's actually one of my favorite decks. It's really fun to play because I really like the mechanic of ninjutsu. And I hope that one day magic uh, Wizards of Coast is gonna come back with more ninjutsu cards because it's a really fun interaction with your opponents so i would say let's go to the next one the next commander that we're going to look at is gonna be sram and i gotta say this is actually one of my latest new commanders that i built and i really like this one i even got a little play mat 
of this guy so I would say let's take a look but two mana so that's already amazing he is a mono white 2-2 two, two. so you would be like oh what mono white in commander that can be good but what does he say he's a dwarf advisor who says whenever you cast an aura equipment or vehicle spell draw a card this is amazing trust me peach the biggest problem of white is that you're missing card draw any commander who sets draw a card is amazing and this one is actually really easy because you would actually be surprised about how many equipment cards of zero mana does exist it's true they're not really powerful sometimes they're even useful that you're like oh i didn't expect that to be good but what are those equipment actually going to do they are going to make your deck smaller and that's really important the commander because you're gonna be able to always play those cards for free and draw a new card and may maybe even be able to draw more zero mana cost equipments and that's actually really good because First of all, you're never gonna feel like you haven't done anything in each turn. You're gonna do a lot of things. Maybe not as powerful, but the thing will come where you're gonna be able to play things that says for each equipment, for each artifact on the battlefield, do this. And that's actually really important. And one of the... You could actually call him the second commander in this deck is Balan, Wandering Knight, a legendary creature cat knight who says for 4 mana a 3-3 three, three. first strike. Balan, Wandering Knight has double strike as long as two or more equipments are attached to it. And for 2 mana, 1 grey, 1 white, attach all equipments you control to Balan. What is quite interesting about this? First of all, equipment cost is gonna be ignored. So that's already really cool. But you can do this at instant speed. So for example, Sram got Lightning Greaves. And someone wants to target Balan with a sorcery or an instance. You can pay 2 mana to put Lightning Greaves at instant speed on Balan. And trust me, it doesn't sound as, as powerful, but trust me, it is. It really is amazing. And the last card that I want to talk about is actually one of the cheaper swords. It's 2 mana for Umizawa Jite. You peeps know this card. And trust me, every time I use it, it surprises me each time how strong this card actually is. So what does this card say? For those who don't know this yet, it's a legendary artifact equipment. So you can't copy this one, but it says whenever equipped creature deals combat damage, put two charge counters on Umizawa Jite. Remove a charge counter from Umizawa Jite, choose one. Equipped creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. Or target creature gets minus one minus one until end of turn or you gain two life equipment cost two this card is so good it's only cost two mana you equip it for two and you're gonna attack and do a lot of bad things with this trust me peeps if there is an annoying creature like for example Mizix that you can't remove because you play mono white you're gonna be able to do minus two minus two kill it and play safe and enjoy your game this is actually not really a really really strong deck but trust me when this deck starts rolling and starts doing what it should be doing it's so strong and also really cool is that because you got so many equipments, a board wipe isn't gonna affect you as much. Because you got SRAM, which is so easy to cast again, because it costs only 2 mana. So, they will, they will have to kill him a lot before you're gonna get into trouble to cast him. 
and every time you play an equipment you can draw a card you're gonna be able to go through your deck so fast and get the cards that you need so yes a really fun deck to play also one of my favorites but i would say let's go to the next one Oh, this deck brings me back. Peeps, this is actually my very first commander deck I ever built. So let's look at the commander first. So Marrow Gnauer, a legendary creature, red rogue, who says 5 mana, a 2-3, all reds have fear. So fear is hard to block, right? And it says if you tap him, sacrifice a red. Put X11 black red creature tokens into play where X is the number of reds you control. You can see where this one is going. But actually he's the commander but the true commander is actually Relentless Red. For 3 mana a 2-2 two -two who says Relentless Red get plus 1 plus 1 for each other creature in play named Relentless Red. You would say like, what? You, you can't use this in Commander. But wait! A deck can have any number of cards named Relentless Red. Whoa! So peeps, very important is that there is a rule like you can only play one card each time in a Commander deck. If the card says like you can do more of that, that rule is getting overruled because the card says so. So that way you can use as many relentless threads as you want in your deck. So that's really awesome. Of course you are not going to play only relentless threads, swarms and our commander. We are going to play around 28 relentless threads. Not more, because it's gonna be useless. You don't need as much to win. But what we are going to do is play cards that gonna help us get even stronger. Like Door of Destiny. This artifact for 4 mana is a jewel. What does it do? As Door of Destiny enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Whenever you cast the spell of the chosen type, put a charge counter on Door of Destiny. Creatures you control of the chosen type get plus one plus one for each charge counter on Door of Destiny. What? So okay, let's let's put an example. I play one relentless threat. It's a two-two. I play a second relentless threat. That means that because they get plus one for each other relenter sweat. They're both gonna get plus one plus one. So they're both three trees. Put a, a third one, they're both gonna get plus two plus two. So far, so good. But because Door of Destiny is gonna trigger each time you play a red, they're gonna get plus three on top of that. And that's gonna be amazing and finish games so fast because you can't forget that all my reds are gonna be impossible to block because of fear so yeah quite dangerous but there is even more peeps the last card that i want to talk about is actually drumming stone a card that i think that not a lot of people do no, Trumming Stone comes from Ice Age and is for 5 mana, a legendary artifact who says spells you control have Ripple 4. What does Ripple 4 mean? Whenever you play a spell, you may reveal the top 4 cards of your library. You may play any revealed cards with the same name as the spell without paying their mana cost. Put the rest on the bottom of your library. The moment that I play Trumming Stone and I play one Relenter Sweat, it's actually game. Because trust me, I am gonna be able to play all my Relenter Sweats without a doubt. Because don't forget, each time, so let's say, I play a Relenter Sweat, I can look at the top 4 cards of my deck. I can play all the cards named Relenter Sweats for free 
but they don't come into play you actually play them for free so what does this mean whenever i play another relentless threat the trigger from trumming stone will trigger again and i can ripple four again so actually you're gonna be able to search your whole library to put all relentless threats into play and that's actually quite amazing and okay they don't have haste but for example if there was already one relentless threat into play who doesn't have summoner sickness he's already gonna get plus one plus one for each relentless threat so yeah for example this one can already be a 30 30 who is gonna be able to attack with fear so unblockable you're gonna kill someone that's for sure so if they're not gonna be able to stop you by then it's gonna be gg so yes a really fun deck if you ask me other cards that are also really good in this deck are coat of arms but be careful coat of arms is for each creature so also for your opponents each creature get plus one plus one for each other creature on the battlefield that shares at least one creature type with it so yeah don't play this card against slivers <laughs> But apart from that, I think that you're always gonna be the person who is gonna use, make the most of use out of Court of Arms. Also, a really fun card that isn't really well known from Time Stop is Sworn Yard. This land taps for grey mana and can also tap to regenerate an insect, a red spider or squirrel. So really useful, you just tap this one to regenerate one of your reds really useful so yes quite a simple id if you ask me but such a fun deck to play against rams so yes nero gnauer of as i call it relentless red deck my first deck and one of my favorites so peeps those were the three commanders that we were going to look at today so i hope that you guys did enjoy my video and i would like to know if you could pick which one should be your favorite is it gonna be sich the ninja lord <laughs> or is it gonna be sram play your hand for free <laughs> or merognauer the king of rats so yeah definitely let me know those were already three of my commander decks i got a lot a lot more commander decks that i can show you peeps but i thought let's start with three commanders in one video otherwise it's gonna be way too long but i got over 20 commander decks that i am ready to show you peeps so definitely let me know if you have more questions about those three commanders if you want to see a full list i can definitely make a video focus on one commander and yeah let me know what did you think of the video what do you want to see next time but first of all i want to thank you all for watching and i hope to see you next time and don't forget i'm crash and i'm out bye bye Whoop. Bye.